Imagine your life without sight. The simplest tasks like choosing an outfit or walking to the mailbox suddenly become much more complicated. Now, imagine trying to navigate your neighborhood, school, or workplace. For individuals with visual impairments, this becomes a daunting task. Curbs, cracks, cars, and even other people become dangerous obstacles of navigating without sight. It's so important. Exercise is my thing that I can have the hardest time doing as a blind person. In the United States, one in every 500 people is blind or visually impaired. In addition to complicating everyday tasks, visual impairment also increases the difficulty and risk of engaging in physical activity. Options for exercising with visual impairment are slim compared to what is available to sighted individuals. Furthermore, many activities require the help or participation of a sighted guide for safety. The combination of increased difficulty and reliance upon another person has the effect of severely limiting independence and participation rates for physical activity. Adaptive technology is designed to help individuals with disabilities interact with the environment in a natural way in spite of physical challenges. The red-tipped cane and the c dog are both examples of resources commonly used by those who are blind. Tandem cycling, tethered running, and swimming are all forms of adaptive activity frequented by those who are blind or visually impaired. The goal of Swimming Blind is to design innovative adaptive technology that will allow swimmers with visual impairments to swim alone without the supervision or help of sighted partners. We seek to design a personal device that will use currently available technology, underwater headphones, Bluetooth, or sonar to notify swimmers when they approach the pool wall. We spoke to Dr. Kevin Taylor, who is a professor of kinesiology and the head of Activity for All, an adaptive physical activity program at Cal Poly State University in San Luis Obispo. There's no doubt in my mind we could build this. It seems to me a very doable thing. Uh, we've done projects with uh, sensing uh, location um, and giving feedback to an athlete before. Um, the parameters involved here are simple. Uh, nothing moves, really. Uh, you know, uh, the pool doesn't move. The lanes don't move. Um, uh, what would you need to make this work? Um, you stick something on the end of it, uh, the pool, at, you know, on the wall at the end of uh, the lane, okay, and no one else in the lane, one person to a lane. Hey, that's a pretty easy physical adaptation, uh, and you've completely accomplished independence, basically. As in the general population, swimming is an ideal sport for those with visual impairments. Swimming removes many of the common barriers that keep visually impaired individuals from engaging in physical activity. In a pool, there are no rocks, cracks, or bumps to trip on and no cars, pedestrians, or other major obstacles to worry about. Swimming allows for a greater range of movement and freedom without the same worries as many land-based activities. The risk of physical injury is greatly reduced in a swimming pool, which means a great deal more freedom and independence than many other forms of physical activity. To, to exercise, for anybody with a, a disability to exercise, uh, the role of adaptive technology is just as critical uh, as it is in the rest of the day. Um, without it, it's very hard. For some, impossible. Uh, with it, it's a whole heck of a lot easier, and uh, for some, it, it makes it possible where it would not otherwise be possible. I'd like to do something every day, but right now, it's like it, if I'm lucky if I get twice a month. I still am back to like tandem riding, riding with somebody, right? or running with someone. I like to just go to the pool, get in the pool, put on my headphones, go. It'd be fabulous. <laughs> so why should you care about swimming blind? In 2012, the medical costs linked to obesity and associated conditions in the United States totaled $190.2 billion, a whopping 21% of total medical expenditures. When comparing able-bodied individuals and those with disabilities, it is worth noting that the rate of obesity in individuals with disabilities is higher, 27.4% as compared to 16.5%. The need for physical activity in the general population today is great. It is even greater in those with disabilities. Visually impaired or blind individuals are consistently less active than their sighted peers. 
and the risk of obesity is 1.5 times higher than in the general population. Increasing physical activity levels will not only decrease the risk of obesity and its associated negative effects, it will also improve functional capacity and independence. This, in turn, will help to ease the financial burden of obesity and associated disabilities. If this technology is introduced on a larger scale, it has the potential to improve accessibility and equity among blind swimmers and their sighted peers. By creating technology that removes the need for a sighted assistant, we hope to restore independence in at least one area of life. The intrinsic value of this device is tremendous. It is not just a technological gizmo that makes life easier. It is a vital piece of technology and it will foster independence in those who use it. I can swim.